Welcome to our prayer service at Pilgrim Church in Harwichport. I'm Susan Cartmel. In the middle of each week, these prayer services are our gift to you. We hope they offer you a pause in your week and a chance to lay your burdens down. This service airs on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. on Facebook, on YouTube, and on our website, pcchp.org. Our Sunday service is at 10. Of course, you can watch either service anytime that fits your schedule. You can help us to reach others by pushing the share button on your Facebook page when the service pops up. Over the years, I've heard many people who say they would do anything to hear God's voice. They pray for an answer to their problems, but don't seem to get one. They try to discern God's will, but God's not responding. They worry that God's aloof or absent. I wonder why that is. Have we got the wrong idea about God? Have we conjured up an image of God that's more like a court judge who adjudicates our human problems? Have we come to think of God as an expert who has answers for everything? Have we convinced ourselves that if God cared about us, surely God's voice would be plain and God's directions would be clear? Maybe the issue here is not that God does not care or respond, but that God does not work that way. When Jesus came to earth, not everyone saw who he was or recognized his authority. Why? Because God had sent someone whom no one expected. Maybe God speaks in ways we don't expect either. Maybe God speaks through prophets today who call us to have a conscience. Maybe God speaks through the voices of the poor. Maybe God speaks through nature and invites us to be still and know that I am God. Maybe in order to hear God's voice, we should slow the pace of our lives and lean into the silence. As you pause on your journey today, join us wherever you are. Let us pray. God of light and mystery, give us the faith to see you even today, especially today. Help us not to be afraid of the silences around us. In the silence of the sick, let us pray for healing. In the silence of the poor, let us pray for justice. In the silence of the refugee, let us find ways to be open to human connections. In the face of so many losses and so much uncertainty, grant us courage, Holy One, and greater compassion for one another. Help us to give each other the benefit of the doubt and to listen more astutely to each other. God of grace and glory, increase our faith. Support us that we may find more courage than we can muster on our own. We pray for our nation as we start a new school year and for this fall season of state and national elections. May we find continued inspiration to seek our better angels and our highest impulses. Empower us to be bringers of grace, makers of peace, planters of seeds of hope, and to find ways to be decent and kind. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and with his words we say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Shortly before he died, Congressman John Lewis from Baltimore, Maryland, wrote an op-ed piece that appeared in the New York Times after his death. It was his farewell advice. He said, ordinary people with extraordinary vision can redeem the soul of America by getting in what I call good trouble, necessary trouble. Voting and participating in the democratic process are key. The vote is the most powerful, nonviolent change agent you have in a democratic society. You must use it because it's not guaranteed. You can lose it. You must also study and learn the lessons of history because humanity has been involved in this soul-wrenching existential struggle for a very long time. People on every continent have stood in your shoes through decades and centuries before you. The truth does not change, and that is why the answers worked out long ago can help you find solutions to the challenges of our time. Continue to build union between movements stretching across the globe because we must put away our willingness to profit from the exploitation of others. Though I may not be here with you, I urge you to answer the highest calling of your heartland. Stand up for what you truly believe. In my life, I have done all I can to demonstrate that the way of peace, the way of love and nonviolence is the more excellent way. Now it is your turn to let freedom ring. When historians pick up their pens to write the story of the 21st century, let them say that it was your generation, Lewis says, who laid down the heavy burdens of hate last. And that peace finally triumphed over violent aggression and war. So I say to you, walk with the wind, brothers and sisters, and let the spirit of peace and the power of everlasting love be your guide.
The second reading is a poem called Famous by Naomi Shihab Nye. The river is famous to the fish. The loud voice is famous to silence, which knew it would inherit the earth before anybody said so. The cat sleeping on the fence is famous to the birds watching him from the birdhouse. The tear is famous briefly to the cheek. The idea you carry close to your bosom is famous to your bosom. The boot is famous to the earth, more famous than the dress shoe, which is famous only to floors. The bent photographs is famous to the one who carries it, and not at all famous to the one who's pictured. I want to be famous to shuffling men who smile while crossing streets, sticky children in grocery lines, famous as the one who smiled back. I want to be famous in the way a pulley is famous, or a buttonhole, not because it did anything spectacular, but because it never forgot what it could do. Ecclesiastes. There's a season for everything and a time for every matter under the heavens. A time for giving birth and a time for dying. A time for planting and a time for uprooting what was planted. A time for killing and a time for healing. A time for tearing down and a time for building up. A time for crying and a time for laughing. A time for mourning and a time for dancing. A time for throwing stones and a time for gathering stones. A time for embracing and a time for avoiding embraces. A time for searching and a time for losing. A time for keeping and a time for throwing away. A time for tearing and a time for repairing. A time for keeping silent and a time for speaking. A time for loving and a time for hating. A time for war and a time for peace. Now may God surround you with peace this day. 
May you come to know and trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. Never forget the infinite possibilities born of faith. Pass on the love that's been given to you and rest in the hollow of God's hand. Amen.